For this week's edition of Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy teach us how to properly release a fish back into the wild without harming yourself or the fish. Hello again everybody, I'm Ray Gildow and tonight we're going to talk about the proper way to release a fish. These fish are really valuable animals and it's important to take care of them, especially if you're not going to take one home to eat it and you want to let it go. We're going to show you the proper way to, to handle the fish and Mandy's an expert at that and she's done it very well and so she's going to show us how to release a fish without hurting it. If you have the capabilities in your boat and you have a live well, no matter what you're doing that day, I always make sure to put the plug in and have a little fresh water because you never know when you're going to catch a keeper. And I don't mean a keeper that necessarily you have to bring home, it's a keeper that you're wanting to get a good photo of. So we got water in the live well, we caught some bass today, no giants, but for your guys' purposes, we're gonna show how to properly release this fish. You wanna think about the fact that once we take them out of the water, they cannot breathe. So the quicker that you can do this, the better that this is gonna go for everybody involved. So we're lucky, obviously, with bass, you can lift them, getting a, a, a good grip, firm grip on there. And I always like to support them in their belly. So we're gonna do this as quick as possible, get them out, get picture ready. The other key aspect is, Release these fish gently, get them down into the water, don't throw them or football spike them. Gently release them into the water and let them swim away for another day for us to catch and play. For the next one, guys, really, I'm Ray Gildow. And I'm Mandy Yerk, Bass and Biologist. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.